This is a continuation of my Samurai 8 critique. Chapter 10. This chapter was middling. Otto fights some guy named Mujin, who is a lazy jobber. His allies hype him up as some strong samurai when Otto challenges him, and the man is washed off screen. Furuta's argument with Hachi isn't bad because it's clear that he's hiding something. Hachi also exposes his lie in front of An. Then Otto shows up and clashes with Daruma. Not much interesting happened, but at least it's building up to something. Chapter 11. This chapter was good. We learned that Otto used to be Daruma's top student, and his connection to Furuta has increased. For some reason, he wants Hachimaru. Hachi becoming frightened and An and Furuta stepping in Otto's path was a good moment. It showed how menacing Otto was by striking fear into the protagonist and mentally attacking him. The others stepping in showed their courage. This scene feels like it's supposed to be the equivalent of pain speech to Naruto, but the lack of philosophical stances, time, or development of these characters makes this scene pale in comparison. Furuta attempting to sacrifice his life for Hachi was good. Otto seems to be defeated by Furuta's new trick. Chapter 12. This chapter was good. Furuta taking a blow for Hachi shows his love for him. Otto's powers aren't making much sense and they've never been clearly defined. He can telekinetically control his katana, but he can also explode someone else's. Hachi has a flashback of his dad as he's dying in his arms. We see how much his father cared for him. Daruma being put out of commission was a wise decision to allow for this entire event to happen. Seeing his father dying gives Hachi the courage to stand up to Ada. Hachi, Hayataro, and An work together to fight Ada. The flashbacks as Furuta watches enhance the emotional impact of the scene. After taking a lot of damage and hearing words of encouragement from his father, Hachi ends the chapter with the final strike. Chapter 13. This chapter was okay. Hachi uses creativity to make his attack effective, but it's not enough, so Daruma finally steps in. He defeats Ada easily with a move that seems inconsistent with the already vague power system. Furuta can't be saved and Ada is not dead. He leaves a message and shows off his Hachi clones. Chapter 14. This chapter was the best so far. We learn about Hachi's brothers and the reason for their existence. The original seven were supposed to be the seven keys, but Hachi's existence interrupted that. Ada's goal is to get Pandora and Mandala's box and become a god. Furuta explaining that he was actually going to kill Hachi at one point was a powerful moment. The dialogue as he's passing away is amazing. At the end of the chapter, he dies. Chapter 15. This chapter was okay. Daruma explains Otto's past and gives some exposition for the world. Hachi being the key to destroying the world or saving the world is very reminiscent of the Child of Prophecy in Naruto. An cuts out her tsundere crap and Hachi vows to avenge his father. Chapter 16. This chapter was mediocre. The moon is falling and the heroes try to destroy it. An shows off her powers of enhancing Hachi as he and his master work together to use a powerful move. Not much going on here. Chapter 17. This was forgettable. Daruma does a lot of expositing. At the end, the heroes are about to fight some duo. Chapter 18. Ryu, the samurai in the duo, shows off his fighting skills and develops the power system clearly. He's eventually beaten by Daruma. The fight was weak. A festival for gaining money is brought up at the end. Chapter 19. This chapter was good. After some exposition, Hachi and Ryu fight. Ryu has two souls and can manipulate his weapon like Scorpion from World Trigger. The fake bodies paired with the shape-shifting weapon also reminds me of World Trigger. Hachi gets washed, but the strategies the two use are pretty cool, especially at the end. Chapter 20. This chapter was mediocre. There's exposition about samurai bodies and the two new characters. At the end, the characters arrive on the planet and start battling in the festival. I think starting a kind of tournament arc this early is a very poor decision. The story has had only one good string of chapters, which was 11 to 14. Apart from that, the manga has been very underwhelming. In my video on tournaments and training arcs, I explain the pros and cons of events and arcs like these, and right now, Samurai 8 can't afford to do a tournament. The main relevant point here is that tournaments pause the plot, and since Sam 8 has barely had any good plot so far, doing this is a bad idea. That's where I'll stop for now. The manga got much better for a few chapters, but it still hasn't reached a high quality. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.